Jai Jai Shri Radhe Shyam. Yavat was built by King Rishabhanu. It is a wedding present for his daughter Srimati Radharani and the palace is for the son-in-law Abhimanyu. As a father, he desired that his daughter would live somewhere close in her married life. And so he built Yavat in such a way that it was very spacious and very aesthetically pleasing. There are many, many wide alleyways, very palatial buildings, and all of Radharani's girlfriends who would also have been married all moved here and lived with all of their husbands in Yavat as well. As Radharani was forced to live here, as the so-called wife of someone other than Krishna, she saw it as a prison, a prison from which she was constantly trying to escape. Actually, it was a prison for both Radha and Krishna. She was always trying to get out and he is always trying to get in. And you know, if you have a really good prison, nobody can get in and nobody can get out. But every night, Srimati Radharani would climb up to the moon tower. This is a place, by the way, where her lotus feet are imprinted. She would go to the top and would always look across the fields to Nandagram and pine, not knowing that Krishna was also on a tower over there, looking in this way and pining also for her. So, in this holy place of Yavat, which represents the supreme feelings of separation, let us very feelingly cry out the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra with the desire to develop these moods in which the whole world is void without Krishna. Longing, longing from the core of our hearts to be reunited with the previous Acharyas, reunited with Krishna and his associates in constant remembrance and constant engagement in their loving service. Let's chant. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Rama Hare Hare.